Hey, and welcome to my latest stream. Today, I'm going to be talking about a book that I just finished reading. I bought it about two days ago, so it's not a long read, but it's packed full of information and it's very, very practical. Really gives you kind of an overview of what someone who has an MBA, how they might think about a problem of starting a business, frameworks, different ways of communicating the information, but also organizing. I read this book because my wife suggested it to me. We were at a bookstore in Portrero Hill. I was looking for something to help me think through my customer discovery journey. I looked at a bunch of different books. A lot of them were focused on different parts of the journey. And this book that I found gave me a road map of how I can think about the journey of business. So I want to start kind of like in the back here, it has an appendix. There is a roadmap to how you might think about business and start here and you work your way through until you get to here and then to here. Eventually you're this huge company, but I'm starting somewhere back here. According to this book, the place where you start is way back when you're looking for who to serve. Start with understanding who your customer is going to be. That's not news to me really. I've seen that in other books, books like The Design of Everyday Things, where you start by understanding who your customer is and empathizing with them. Also, The Mom Test talks about really starting with your customer, moving away all the solutions out of your head, really just thinking about the problems they're experiencing and empathizing with them. And this book talks about doing the same things because this is an amalgamation of all the things that you would need to get an MBA. So this is like two years of knowledge condensed into one little vast read of a book. The next phase of uh, starting a business is coming up with an idea. This has a lot of different parts to it. Finding out who to serve is just two pages. This is like 10 different pages. I think the reason is there are a lot of things to consider when coming up with an idea. And that's kind of where I need to be focused. I started thinking about some of my customers and who they are, and I have three different customers in mind. One are the land surveyors. These are people who are doing land surveys using traditional equipment, maybe drones as well. They need to provide maps and accurate locations of different things within those maps to people that are trying to do permitting or make modifications to their buildings or get insurance or transfer their property to someone else through a real estate deal. They are currently doing a lot of manual work, which can be automated with machine vision and deep learning. Another potential customer are the homeowners. And those are people who live in a neighborhood, they're dealing with dirty streets or streets that need repair, laws that are being broken, safety issues, all while trying to provide for their families. It's, a, it's, a, it's overwhelming to have to deal with all this when you're trying to also provide for yourself. This one really resonates with me. And the final one is government. I want to be an ally to the government. I think the government needs specific kind of help in deploying the resources, planning and zoning areas. Managing their workforce is pretty difficult. If I can help them with tools to deploy their their workforce more effectively, that could be really good. It's hard. It's a lot of work and they're sort of like overwhelmed with the amount of work that needs to be done in a city like San Francisco. Those are the customers I'm thinking about. I need to start by following this little framework here, STP, and that stands for segment target position. The first task is what I just did is segmenting people that I could serve with this technology that I'm working on. We talked about land surveyors, homeowners and renters in a neighborhood and the government. The next thing I need to do is target who I should be working with. There are all these different people that I could serve, different situations I could serve. This is talking about some kind of sports drink and it's like, well, you could serve people in sports or at the gym or in medical situations. You can only really do one. And how do you pick which one? Pick the one that's the most powerful situation. But I think the power has to do with how much money they're willing to spend. So as you can see, I just read this book really recently, so it's not fully processed in my mind. I'll probably have to go over this a few times before I could really understand it deeply. But you can also see that just by looking at the illustrations, how nicely illustrated it is and the breadth of the topics being covered. I'll look at the chapters here. So everything from like leadership, corporate financial reporting, entrepreneurial management, managerial accounting, business finance, marketing, operations management, strategic human resource management, business negotiation, strategy, business ethics, entrepreneurial finance, judgment and decision-making, general manager's role, strategic thinking, creativity and innovation, startup marketing essentials, performance and incentives, global management, putting it all together, and then, you know, some closing thoughts about it. It covers a lot of ground which I find really helpful just to kind of get my head around what I need to be thinking about and where I need to be starting and where I'm going. And they talk about solutions and how do you create a good solution? How do you find a good solution? 
How do you find a good problem? I'm finding this a really helpful book to think through like the high level stuff and to zoom out a lot and look at the landscape of where do I want to spend my time? Where would be a good effective place to spend my time? Where am I going to get the most value and deliver the most value at the same time? But these are the different segments I was looking at. When I look at this, what I see are qualities of the peeps. One is how deep are their pockets? How much discretion do they have to spend that money? And then what's the hunger or desire for this type of solution? If I look at all three of these, two of them really stand out. There are homeowners that are hungry to know what's going on in their neighborhood. And they're hungry to have actionable insights and actionable data to be able to deal with that. That's all I wanted to talk about this book right now. I could probably go on a lot longer, but I'm going to cut it short here. Suffice it to say, I'm finding it to be a really informative and interesting book, and I'm going to be applying the lessons I'm learning from the book as I go along. So I'm sure I'll update you more on how I'm applying those lessons in my next videos. Okay, until next time, see ya.